we thought we'd get one of those uh, cooked chickens. It's really funny that chickens are um, more expensive raw than they are cooked. Makes you wonder. Uh, I know that in, in a lot of the chickens they do uh, put in MSG, so you know if you take the skin away, you can have a better better results if you're allergic like, like I am. What I'm going to do is make uh, chicken burritos and it's a really quick meal. Just let me throw this away. It's a really quick and easy meal. So uh, I, we also forgot to buy um, taco or burrito uh, uh, mix so I'm just improvising here. I added a, a basically equal amounts of uh, um, Cinnamon, ground ginger, a touch of turmeric, um, chili powder, some celery salt, a few pieces of chili for heat, and uh, a double portion of uh, cumin. It's funny, but cumin is one of the flavors that it makes the uh, taco seasoning seasoning distinctive. That taste that you taste is usually because they added uh, cumin to it, and of course. We're going to add a little bit of a little bit of salt, and what I'm going to do. So I mean, as you can see, it's it's a bit of a mix because I've worked with spices for a while. So what I'm going to do is mix that in there, and you know, it's like it's about the size of a package of uh, of uh, burrito or. Taco mix. Tell me, how does it, does it smell a little bit like? Uh... <laughs> My wife's on camera at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I am going to use this seasoning that I just made up. Um, get a package, make sure there's no MSG in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up some celery, I'm going to grate some carrot, I've got some onion, and a bit of garlic, probably two or three cloves of this garlic. I got four mushrooms and some salsa, some sour cream, some cheese. Uh, this is the uh, medium. It's usually best if you get it cheese on sale, get the old stuff because uh, the, the flavor is much goes a longer way. And uh, we got some pesto wraps here. You can get regular wraps in one day. I am going to show you how to make uh, them from scratch so you don't have to buy them from the store. I mean, all you need is flour. Okay, so I'm going to chop all this up and I'm going to get it ready and then we'll show you how to cook um, it. I'm going to start first with, I, as I always do, I usually sort of roast the garlic in, in oil. And, and you, you might see a reoccurring theme of, of how I cook. And for a lot of meals, I always have a base of garlic, onion, um, celery, and uh, carrot. Now you might think that's strange, but I, I do it a lot. I don't know why. I, I know the Greeks uh, use a lot of onion, um, celery, and carrot, and uh, not so much garlic. But, and I'm going to cut again, sort of bigger size and really thinly sliced garlic. So I'm going to take these pieces and roast them, and with the onion, uh, what I do is I kind of cut a bit bigger. When I get to the half point and it's going to want to keel, keel over, I just flip that side over and uh, give it a few cuts so I don't cut myself. Makes it makes it a bit easier. So I'm going to put that in there, put that in there, I'm going to move this over a bit so I can put the garlic on the one side. And I'm going to cut up the chicken here. And these are the breasts that are left. There's also a bit of uh, what I stripped from the bone. And I'm just going to... Oops. I just... I just broke the wishbone. I should have made a wish before I did that. Eh? Okay, I'll put that to the side. I thought I stripped everything, but I didn't. If you're smart, you probably take the... Uh, the skin off, but I don't. So... As you can see, I'm making sort of cuts. I'll, uh, I want to do bite-sized pieces, so I'll fold it over and give it a bit more of a cut, so that uh, you 
you know you don't your cubed pieces aren't that big there we go and then I go lengthwise after lengthwise I'll just cube them up so that when they fry up with uh, the food they'll be nice bite-sized pieces in your burrito okay so that's all basically ready to go so uh, outside of the celery basically I'll put the chicken with the chicken nice big chunks that'll fry up I'm gonna be when I put the oil in I'm gonna add the the spices themselves with the when I have the onions in so it'll uh, force inject the spice into the oil uh, so because I want to eat it right away I don't want the spices take a long time to to uh, permeate into the food so I sort of uh, make it happen faster as I'm sweating the uh, the onion and garlic I'll put the spice in I'm just right now cutting up the uh, the celery leaves because I like to add them at especially in a burrito it adds some nice coloring move that aside there a bit so I can do them first okay so I'm gonna heat up the oil I don't have any camelina oil that's my preference of using oil but today I'm going to use uh, use uh, olive oil I found a couple of peppers in the fridge so I thought hey it'd be nice to add the peppers in so I've cut them into big rings and what I do to make it quick is I just come up above and cut them down so they cut easy. I'm going to leave the other half for another meal because I, I think that uh, you know I might have too much of a good thing going on here. Okay, so uh, that's it. Okay, the oil is probably pretty warm here as it's heating up and I'm going to add uh, oh it's smoking I think there was something from an old meal underneath so I'm just going to start with the garlic Gonna I usually as you normally as you see me doing I like to uh, sort of roast it in the oil I like to roast it in the oil so it's almost brown and then add uh, I didn't bring it too close to the batter in a bit because it's watering. That's about three cloves. Okay, I'm going to get the water off of the bring down the temperature just tad. I'm going to wait till they're slightly brown. And then I'm going to add the, and what this does again is it infuses the oil, the olive oil or camelina oil with uh, the flavoring of the garlic. It popped up a bit here. And I'll add the onion. Let that fry up a little bit. And what I'm going to do as it's Putting it out in the frying pan is I'm going to add the spices. So what that does is it, it kickstarts the spices to push the flavor out, and I think I'm going to add a little bit more chili pepper because I want my burrito to be nice and sufficiently hot. Like I said, the best thing to do is to uh, grab a, if you don't know how to make it from scratch, grab a package of uh, burrito spices, no MSG, or taco spice, no MSG. I know in one of these shows I'm going to show you how to make your own. But, so I'm going to bring the heat up a bit. So, that's uh, definitely getting hot. I'm doing this quickly, mind you. It might be more. Patient if I want it to be. 
So I'm going to add the, the celery. I usually put in the hardest things that cook to the soft thing. I'm going to add the celery with the meat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out whatever gravy-ish dripping uh, came with the chicken. Now, I, I don't necessarily advise to buy uh, pre-cooked chicken, but sometimes we go, geez, I'm hungry, I want to eat now. Because they do use MSG when things you might be allergic to. And I have a heightened sensitivity to it because I don't normally eat anything with MSG in it. And also, I've been to the hospital because of it. So. Now, with the chili pepper frying in here, you might get a bit of a kick back in your nose and spiciness. And I am going to add oh, there it is. a little bit of salsa that's going to be part of the meal in it. As it's frying up, so it has a little bit more of that flavoring. And I'm going to add now mushrooms. Carrot. Grated carrot. Um, and the uh, bits of um, what is, uh, peppers that I found. And I was hoping to find some soy sauce. So I'm going to mix this around a bit. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to uh, allow it to steam so that everything gets sort of soft. Now, everything's already cooked, so when it's uh, basically hot, I don't know where the soy sauce is. We took it home. So, let's see. Let's add a little bit of honey garlic that's been sitting in the fridge. Just a tad. I am eating it. It's about, I don't know, a tablespoon or two. Notice I always say tablespoon and it might be like a quarter cup. I know, you, you got to be really watching me sometimes because... Uh, my measurements aren't the greatest. So I've got this potpourri of filling. Okay? And the nice thing is, is you know, you just see me doing this. You can have a variety of things that you might want to do yourself. Okay? So I'm going to do this. I am going to put a tad, a little bit of water, maybe a tablespoon or so. See, do it again. Cover it so it can steam a little bit. Leave that for three, four minutes. And then I'm going to prepare what I'm going to do with my uh, wraps. So you can tell it's already boiling. It's cranked pretty hot, so I'm going to put it at medium so nothing burns. I'm going to get some of my wraps out. Cut on the dotted line. So these are simple burritos. And you know what? They're so yummy. Uh, but there's something that I do is I, when I do fill them up, I'm going to be putting that in a bowl when it's basically ready to go. I'm going to add some, depending if you like sour cream or salsa, I usually put some sour cream and salsa on the top, and uh, see it's softened quite a bit. You can tell that the vegetables have been steamed and heated sufficiently. So what I'm going to do, uh, and that's only, honestly, it's only been two or three minutes. I am going to put that in a bowl, which I think is what.
So I'm going to turn it off, put the filling, remember this is the filling, in a bowl. Now this, honestly, even though it was a half a breast and lots of vegetables, will probably feed, want some light? Will probably feed uh, four adults sufficiently. And me being three, <laughs> my wife being one, just kidding. So I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to re-oil it. Um, I didn't even think you were an adult. Oh, thank you. That speaks volumes to how you feel about me. I'm hurt. Can I turn it off? Yeah. Okay. As you can see, I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm adding some olive oil. I'm using glass because maybe you can see it a little bit better. I've added some olive oil to uh, the glass, to a glass plate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these, uh, you've got to be sometimes careful when you peel them apart because they do rip. They're fairly moist. This one's a feta wrap. But, uh, yeah, it's... Pesto. Ripping. Pesto, sorry. So what I'm going to do is I take it and I make sure <clears throat> it gets sort of oily on the one side. I place it on a medium-low wrap. Uh, medium low heat. I put it in the pan. I've added some of those parsley leaves to the mixture and what I'm going to do is put celery. some in the mix. Celery. Did I, what did I say? Parsley. Okay. So I've got probably a little bit too much in there and I've taken a small block of cheese and I'm going to add some cheese to it as well. So I'm just going to add some cheese to it. Okay, there you go. And what I do is I fold the sides in. Okay, I fold the sides in. I take this one side up. I tuck it in and then I roll it. Okay, so it's a bit oily. See, I'll just keep keep things together and then I go and do another one. I have it on a low heat and a lot of times I can fit three on there. Oh man. Okay, so more oil. Some more, wait, let's put, uh, I'm going to do this one on here. A bit more filling. More cheese. Okay, that's good. Now, the wrapping process very simple. You put it, you fold in the sides. You, you, I usually grab the shortest, shortest one. Take the sides, pull it over, tuck it in. Okay, to make a nice round. Okay, and then I, then I roll it. If there's any pieces that need to be tucked in on the sides, I do that too. And then I add it to here. So I think I can get three in there. Notice I have it at a very low heat. So I haven't really started doing the cooking process. Okay. Again, still oil on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be browning the burritos as I go. Add some of the filling in there. And you can use beef, lamb, you name it. I'm going to add a bit more cheese. There we go. And the same thing again. Tuck both, you fold in the two sides, you grab the bottom, you bring it up, you bring it down, right? You tuck it in and then you roll it. If there's anything sticking out, you can always tuck it in. Remember the oil makes it a little bit more supple so it won't break. And I always, uh, when you put them in the pan, I always have the bottom uh, flap always facing up or facing one direction so you don't end up flipping one and flipping the other back in an unnatural or in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna turn that to halfway. 
I'm going to let them slow cook. So I've got it like at medium, which will bring it up a bit, maybe six. And I'm going to let them slow fry. I think I've got oil on me, but that won't come out. I've got so many t-shirts, and they've got little spatters everywhere. Honestly, I should actually sew a, a nice, cute, uh, what are they called, apron. You know, tiny host, tiny home cook. <clears throat> So when they uh, when they start browning, we'll get back to you. How long each side? Um, don't know. Unless you want to sit here and I'll uh, I'll, about five minutes a side. Medium. The reason why it's important when you like a lot of people will fry one at a time, right? I I usually fry three or four at a time, and the the reasons why I put the flap up is because I've already turned it over once. Is because when you turn it over, okay, is you can get all four corners. Now they're nicely starting to brown, and the flap, if you have one going the opposite way, it might open. So I can get with this and sort of tuck them in a bit, I can get all four corners and have them nicely browned, um, nicely browned um, uh, wraps. With the seam side down. With the seam side down. Notice as, as I'm flipping it has a nice, sits really nicely and it keeps all the food inside. It works really good. So in a few minutes it'll be ready. What I do is I'll take one for Jada. She hates sour cream so I'll just put some salsa on top. It's got the cheese in there. Sometimes I sprinkle a little cheese on top to allow it to melt and have, give it some extra flavoring. So uh, when this side is done I'll have one more side to go. Notice that I can get all four corners instead of you know, one side and the other side. It's clean because uh, the flaps were up, up and when I turned it, you know, I was able to do one, two, three, tuck them in, and it browns nicely. As, as it goes, it will, uh, it cooks a little faster because the skillet gets a little hotter. So, you know, be on it. If you Go away and watch TV or something, you're going to end up having something burned. Your finger is right on the lens almost. So it's almost ready to go. I'm going to grab a plate for Jada. And put it over here. And usually when I grab sour cream, this won't be for me, it'll be for her. Uh, when I grab sour cream, if I'm going to add it to a meal or something, I usually, you know, I don't scoop it up the way it is. I usually give it a bit of a mix because it can come out in a little bit blocky. I give it a bit of a spin. The nice thing about sour cream, you can always add flavors to it, but that's another show. A little bit of salsa. The reason I'm not showing the brand name is I don't recommend it. <coughs> it was in the fridge. <laughs> We're eating uh, Robert out of house and home here. So, I'm going to put the plate here. And I'm going to give it all nice and brown now. And I'm going to bring it to the bottom if I didn't brown it a lot. I'm going to give it out of the middle one. Put it on there. Actually, I'm going to take this off because uh, I don't want them to burn. So, I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on it first. that will have a nice kind of melt over it. And believe it or not, these things are silly. Right? If it was a... Notice with the grating, I, I grate as I go. So you don't waste, oh, <laughs> a little bit of uh, salsa to add to it, and when you, my apologies Jada, when you cut into it, and I'm just going to cut in the middle, see it's nice and crunchy when you, and it folds open, and you have a really nice, Looking burrito, and it's quite yummy. 
Very simple, not classically anything truly Mexican, but it is good. There you go.